welcome back to my channel. It is Friday in Los Angeles. It's sunny outside. I just got a cha cha matcha. It's already 2 p.m. So I was at a tennis clinic this morning with Z Supply. That's why I'm in this cutie tennis outfit. They, I guess, have like a whole tennis collection, but they have a lot of cute stuff. If you guys do want to shop Z Supply, I have a discount code with them. That is Martha15. It gives me commission if you would like to support me. But they have cute stuff. I just got some new things in for fall that I'm really liking. And also the tennis outfit is so cute. Some of the other girls were wearing these little tennis dresses. One of the girls slipped me one and I'm very excited about it. It's white. You probably saw it in the clip of all of us playing together. If you are in LA also, let me confirm that I have the name of this tennis clinic correct. Okay, so there is this group called Sunset Tennis Club. This is what their Instagram looks like very moody so they actually partnered with z supply today and they had reached out to me before to do classes like classes like i would pay to go it's not just like sponsored and it wasn't very much and i've been playing tennis but i haven't gotten very good i definitely brushed up on my skills like i can volley the ball back and forth and like be kind of competitive but i'm not great i'm still learning i'm like a no way like intermediate level i would say yeah i'm kind of like between beginner and intermediate but they do tennis clinics and classes and it's very like female friendly if you want to go play maybe you're like intimidated or i don't know you're a beginner and we had two instructors teach us today who are actually guys but it's a girl and a guy a couple like a married couple that started the tennis club it's pretty cool very chic so if you're looking to play i would recommend but i had a really nice time my friend emily anberg came to the event and we literally talked and took photos for so long like i got to the event a little after 10 30 and i left at like 1 20. i usually don't stay that long at events but one of the girls from Z Supply came down to the court and was like, I thought you were still here. I knew you were still here, but I wanted to make sure you know that we have all the gifting upstairs. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we've just been talking and taking pictures forever down here. Emily and I got like these lemonade food boxes and ate lunch. We just were talking and then we got a bunch of goodies. Look at this picture. A lot of stuff. And I got a candle. It's in the back, but it's from Vacation, the sunscreen brand. It's like vacation mixed with the smell of tennis balls. And it really kind of smells like a freshly opened thing of tennis balls. It smells really good. But I just left and I have some exciting, well, it's exciting news to me. I'll tell you guys a little bit later. But I have something to work on when I go home and I just wanted a masha. I don't know why, but I'm craving masha versus coffee pretty bad. It took me forever to find a parking spot in West Hollywood though, because I was trying to go to Verve or Cha Cha Matcha. Ended up finding one. And then I met, if you guys watch TikTok, I'm sure you've heard of Lydia Campbell. She was there and I was like, oh, I think that's her. And then she was back at the bathroom line and like asked if she can go ahead of me and like wet her hands. And I was like, I think I follow you on TikTok. She was really, really nice. We chatted for a minute. She was very sweet, very cool girl, really nice interaction, only good things to say. So that was fun. I got my little matcha, a little fuel to go home and work. So that's what I'm gonna do even though it's Friday. But you know, I've been kind of having fun these last few evenings, so I need to work on this thing. Good morning. It's now Sunday. I last vlogged on Friday and I told you guys I was gonna vlog more that afternoon, but I just got into what I was doing. And yesterday was a little bit busy for me. I was out and about with some people and yeah, it just kinda went by and I wasn't really vlogging it. Um, that's my, my pile of shit that I gotta figure out. But anyways, I am leaning down cause <laughs> I only have this light right here to put my camera on. I just ordered a coffee to Phil's and right now it's 10:34, so I'm gonna walk over there and grab it. I have some work I need to do this morning for something that starts tomorrow. But yeah, come with me. Let's go. Let's get coffee. Okay, I actually need my sunglasses and I just got this pair from Z Supply and they kind of give me like the Matrix vibe, but they're pretty cool. Does it look weird with my hair up? Also, my hair's in a ponytail and it's actually kind of cute. I had to like curl the end though. I think that works. I mean, yeah. This is the Luke. These sandals are from Cezanne. I've been wearing them like crazy. They're pricey, but I mean, they're so cute. Look at them. 
And these shorts I got last summer at PacSun. This is the bag I wear a lot from Naked Vice. This is from an Australian girl called Balm Wears. It is so thick. It's one of the best tank tops I've ever had. Like completely one of the best ever. Okay, so I was actually wanting to grab coffee earlier, but you guys, my landlord, sorry, this thing is like so high pitched and annoying. Okay, my landlord, does not hire someone to cut the freaking grass and I wish to God he did because we live in a nice neighborhood where everyone takes care of the yard and their yard looks really great like all the apartment buildings and all the houses and ours looks like absolute ass he comes over and cuts the grass with a weed whacker and a lot of the times he does it shirtless today he had a shirt on but he's not my favorite person and I was not gonna go outside and have to say hi to him so I just waited until he was done. So yeah, that's why I'm getting coffee just a little bit later. Why are landlords like so lazy? So lazy, so cheap, and also can be assholes. The big three. <laughs> Okay, we are back home with the coffee. I was talking to my best friend on the phone for a while. Okay, but I wanted to briefly talk about something. So I got non-fat milk. I have been getting oat milk in my coffee for a long time. Like, dude, like six years at this point. I'm sure everyone has heard the controversy of nut milks having like gums and oils in them. When I say oils, I mean like the seed oils. It's kind of controversial. Some people think that they're a problem. Some people don't think they're a problem. It just kind of depends on your stance and like what you consider healthy, toxic, whatever. I don't know. Everyone's different. My personal opinion, I'm not sure how toxic the seed oils and everything are, but I just reached this point where I was like, you know what, I'm a big coffee girl. Like I have coffee every single day and I get coffee out like 25% of the week and I have oat creamer here at home every day. And if you look at the ingredients, they're not that great. Like I have one in my fridge right now. Okay, let's just look at this together. This one, this is the Califia oat creamer. I usually get one called Sone, but it's pretty sweet, so I switched out and was getting this one just to try to mix it up a little bit. This has oat milk, water, and oats, it says, is that cane sugar, sunflower oil, natural vanilla flavor with other natural flavors, sunflower, lecithin, calcium carbonate, sea salt, potassium, citrate, guar gum, and gel and gum. Do I have any idea what guar gum or gel and gum is? No. Also, sunflower oil is supposed to be pretty bad for you. It's equivalent i think to canola oil i don't know i just all i listened to paul saladino the carnivore md on mari llewellyn's podcast and i've followed paul for a long time i don't really associate my diet with his at all because i only eat chicken and turkey but i do think he has valid points and i like that he makes it very clear that if something's working for you he's not encouraging you to change it he's simply telling you what worked for him and what has worked for other people i don't know i'm trying to have regular milk with my coffee now i will say this does not hit the same though this is way better with oat milk i get the filtered soul and regular milk just like has a flavor but it's fine i don't think i'm going to buy oat milk or oat creamer anymore the big thing with oats is they're sprayed with glyphosate. i just read this book it's laura dern and her mother and her mom essentially gets diagnosed with something has a very rare name because it is rare but she was around glyphosate as a kid and the doctor told her she had six months to live and she was like maybe 70 something when she found this out because it wasn't too long ago, it was a few years ago. And it was in her lungs and she couldn't breathe very well. I don't know the extent of what had happened to her if she inhaled it. She said she lived near a farm. Glyphosate are a pesticide and they spray it on... I don't know a lot of things but oats especially there is a video online that is absolutely disgusting it looks like a silver slime material and that is what glyphosate is and they're spraying that on our food if you go to europe i've never been but if you go there they don't use this it's illegal i'm pretty sure there but you know in america we like to do things a little bit sideways sometimes i just decided you know what if i'm having oat milk every day and it's not organic the creamer i bought was typically it is organic but like this one is not 
And if I go to a coffee shop, the chances are they're probably using one with oils and gums and all the things. And then you have the glyphosate in the oats on top of it. I just decided it's been a long time and maybe I should shift away from that. So I'm going to buy dairy creamer from here on out. I've never had a sensitivity to dairy. I just went through a phase where I thought dairy was weird and it was because I was pescatarian, very animal friendly anti-animal cruelty everything you guys know in my previous vlogs i've talked about why i started eating chicken again it's been a year now since i've introduced animal products into my diet but i have not consumed any beef or pig i feel better knowing i'm ingesting something that's more natural versus something that's more man-made but that's the tea that's what's going on good morning monday it's monday morning it's already 11:32 and i'm having some cottage cheese with a plum and a bit of honey and three chicken sausages all right i want to tell you guys what i've been working on i decided it was time to level up my career and i've interviewed for several different management agencies and at one point i was really considering a few there was one i was really interested in but it didn't end up working out which is kind of unfortunate and then i just reached this point of like you know what you've been making all this happen by yourself for so long let's let's try something else like what can we do and i've heard a lot about virtual assistants i just put out some feelers on instagram to see what would happen because that's how i found my lovely youtube editor lt she's great and we got together on instagram so i was like you know what i'm just gonna try and see what happens and so i put it out there and i got pretty good feedback okay there was a girl who really stood out to me because she was also a graphic designer i was looking to hire someone to help me with kind of more of the mundane tasks and just get to know my day-to-day -day in industry a little bit better versus someone to like start negotiating deals and get on my email so this girl reached out she did graphic design she had a relation with the company i have a good relationship with her work was great and i was just like let's go like let's do this today's our first day together and i prepped this entire presentation and everything to run her through all the things because i'm gonna have her help me with my like to know it i'm gonna have her do a lot of my Pinterest and uploading to YouTube shorts and getting me started on Lemon 8. Just all this like mundane stuff that I already feel so busy keeping up with the content on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Just like constantly creating and then also doing my email and events. I don't want to do this other side stuff and I know she's going to do an amazing job. And it was very intimidating. To, one interview was so intimidating. I got so nervous. And then the second time to do a whole presentation to be in charge is so new to me. I feel comfortable. Like it definitely feels like it's natural, but it also is so new that I'm nervous and jittery about it still. And so I had prepped for this meeting and I just realized during it that there was way more to it than I thought. And it's probably because to me, all of it is so easy, but then explaining it to a new person and doing it via online. But I'm really excited to see how this can help me grow and help my whole internet online presence grow and see really where we can take things. She's awesome and I'm really hopeful she can also grow into a bigger role for me. So it's pretty cool. Luda and I are going into Village Well Books but it closes at 6 and it is 5.51. at Palm Beach Tan and I made sure today to ask if the tans, what's the word? I can't think of it, but transfer over to the next month. And the guy working clearly was very done working for the day. He was a little sassy, but in like a funny way. And he was like, no, unfortunately they don't. And also 
he had to charge me this time because I always get the tinted one. I tried the clear once and nothing really came of the color, so I think that just has to do with their formula. Regardless, I had to pay $12 extra for the bronzer, but I haven't been the past few months, so I need to make sure I'm going because I pay like $27 a month for it, which is really cheap for spray tan because if you go sugared and bronzed, it's like 60 bucks. But then again, at sugared and bronzed, you're getting sprayed by an actual person not just a versus bomb machine. So now I'm doing my laundry because I'm going back to Indiana on Saturday and I'm running out of like nude underwear, just stuff like that. So uh, I also need to wash my sheets and I'm trying to figure out if I have towels and stuff in here so I can wash the sheet with the towels. That seems to make sense. It's been a pretty good day. I feel like I've been waking up a little bit too late. I slept in a bit today. And so my goal for tomorrow is to wake up at like 6.30 and get out of here and go to the gym, which I think is definitely doable. I just have to commit, but I'm kind of having like a girly night in tonight and I'm gonna do this. I'll probably go on a walk, which is a short walk. I worked out pretty hard earlier. I'm gonna fix my toenails because Melissa and I are last minute going to shoot some stuff tomorrow. I'm excited because I need to get that content before I go out of town, like I said. So, excited that she could shoot, just hit myself for that. Yeah, that's that. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. I decided I want to become a morning gym girl again. Not that I haven't been. I've been going at like anywhere from like 10.30 to one o'clock. And then some days I go more in the afternoon. But you know what? I'm like falling back into the routine of wearing my gym clothes again all day. And I don't want to be that person. So it's 7.30. I got up like 15 minutes ago. I'm shooting at 11. So luckily today's upper body day. So I have time to get myself awake right now with some coffee. I'm just gonna read like five to 10 pages of my book and try to like get this to go into my veins. And then change and go do an upper body workout. Also side note, I have to blast my AC here because it's been so hot. It makes me so dry and swollen in the morning. Like my eyes are puffy, my chin gets swollen. It's so uncomfortable. I probably just need to run my humidifier. Melissa and I are together. Say hi. Hello. We just finished shooting and we chose to shoot on like the freaking hottest day. Was not anticipating that and we're pretty sweaty and we're in like Melrose Robertson area and there's a little gifting event so we're gonna pop into that now. In our fits. And this brand is named Marin Costello I think and like back in the day she and I used to follow each other on Instagram back when Instagram was like at its height. So it'll be cool to meet her in person. And hopefully we get some cute pieces and I'm wearing my pug ring today. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. I am about to make myself some breakfast because I'm going to get my hair done and I have to leave in like 15-ish, a little under 20 minutes from now. And when I go get my roots done, I'm usually there for at least two hours and she's in Highland Park. So the drive is like 30 minutes. It's actually not as bad at this time. Usually I go see her around like 10, so I'm kind of surprised that, I mean, I guess it makes sense though because 10 is maybe, oh fuck. Ten is maybe still rush hour. I just got shells in my eggs. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I realize a lot of this vlog has been me talking and not so much filming the things that I've been doing. 
and I apologize for that because I don't know I feel like it's probably more exciting to see the things I've been doing but it's just been so busy I've been forgetting to bring out my camera because the girl has been getting tired pretty easily so that's that but the assistant is amazing you guys she's literally changing my life I should have done this earlier why did I wait so long I mean she's really she's fabulous she is upping my like to know it game beyond my wildest dreams she's like going in and linking extra products for me beyond just what i'm wearing in the photo i've really been wanting to up my ltk ga ltk game just because i realize there's a lot of potential on it to make extra kind of passive income to be fair because once you get your profile set up and going and like your audience gets used to knowing that you post consistently on there. I mean, every social media platform is about consistency, but there's just a lot of potential to make money without having to rely on brand deals. And you know, there's months where I get like one brand deal. I had a brand deal this month actually that I was so excited about. They pulled the rug out from under us and just canceled the job literally four days before, which is not uncommon. And Sometimes I do think like, I'm like, is that legal? Like, are, cause I already signed a contract. We already agreed on a rate. Like, I don't know if that's really legal, but it was a good amount of money that just essentially gets taken away. So things like that can happen. Like I'm just realizing I don't want to always rely on brand deals and I do eventually need to make some sort of business that's going to bring income in for me. But just having this girl right now help me with keeping the LTK updated is amazing i'm also going to start doing more guides of what i'm shopping because she's also a graphic designer so she can whip up these things that one i don't have the time for and two i don't know how to do i could figure it out but the time is the factor and i don't want to spend the time to figure it out and that's how you become a good business person right this is a little chaotic right now all right I clearly need to run my dishwasher so she's changing my life and she's also reposting my content from tiktok and instagram into places like youtube shorts which i don't know why youtube is doing this but it keeps showing my content to men and i'm like i do not need men to see my content i don't need them commenting i don't need their input like unless they're buying for their girlfriends which based on their comments is not the vibe i'm getting that is kind of pissing me off so I need to figure out how to work around that. But YouTube has changed their stuff, so now they're pushing shorts. So I'm trying to re-upload all my content to shorts. Okay, Barb's gonna curl my hair, and she does it amazing, so I'm taking pointers here. Yeah, they're here. No matter if you wrap it or you know, use it like a wand or wrap it. Mm -hmm. So you wanna like pull it like a like truly like a Literally unicorn bird. Okay. Yeah. And then Did you do that one in the same direction as you did this one? Mm -hmm. I never really do the alternating of direction. <laughs> the final look. <laughs> Barb slide. Oh. Every time. I gotta learn how to do these freaking dents that she does so nicely. Freaking 